drill down options. The system is equipped with a number of drill down options to facilitate cross data stream analysis, root cause analysis, also known as top down, and finally historical analysis on an individual data stream. At the core of every analysis are system dashboards which are full of various metrics and statistics. Each tab in the group shows a specific perspective on data. Dashboards are easily accessible and even thought grouped according to specific troubleshooting scenarios to make the navigation easier. Understanding the source and cause of an incident when problem solving is crucial. When it comes to data filtering, search bar is the core drill down component and typically the user starts the interaction with it directly from the dashboard. Filters modification is always at hand, and the user will see the results on the fly. Another way to start drill down is to interact with filters directly within the search bar itself. We can not only easily add or modify, but also interact with the logic of the filter conditions. Another typical analysis workflow is to use predefined drill downs on a widget level. The first option is to jump to the other dashboard group, for example, to see the IP traffic details. The second option is to go to the other individual dashboard, for example, to protocol details. The third option is to use a predefined filter, which is at hand every time you use your widget. And the final option here is to utilize another widget as a more detailed representation of data statistics and additional information, which are related or important. When we are doing our analysis, we always have a statistics flyout available to review data stats. This is helpful both at the start of the analysis, when we need a starting point, as well as in the other phases of our drill down workflow, when we need additional information. Worth mentioning is the fact that the statistics flyout data is filterable via search bar, but if a global view on data needs to be preserved, this can be easily disabled. Both modes are quite useful. Fast filter adding from the flyout is always an option. Please remember that not every logical condition is correct. That is why sometimes it needs some manual tweaking. Finally, what is the most common origin point of intermediate or final workflow analysis step is to jump from the dashboard to detailed data. It can be done either on a widget level, by clicking the blue data badge, or directly from the dashboard, utilizing the blue raw badge. In most cases, results of both methods are similar. They redirect us to the source data, on which either a widget or search bar work on. After we are redirected, we land in the detailed data view, which is already pre-filtered. Previously applied filters are preserved, where we can either see single data raw details, or compare them in just a few clicks. We played with filters, but the same can be also done with time ranges. We can change the search bar's time range directly from widgets by clicking on the green badge. We can conduct drill down from the visualization and select the desired time range in the field itself. We can also modify the time range from the time picker, select the exact time range, Create an up to now analysis, also known as relative time range. Pick commonly used time ranges, or an auto refresh option, commonly used in NOCs and SOCs rooms. Our system is also equipped with a specific drill down component called Filter Widget, which can be used on every dashboard. Users can predefine filter elements during the widget creation process and then interact with them like they would in the search bar. Here, the user has all filters ready to be used instead of adding them manually to the search bar. It is worth emphasizing one more time that the search bar keeps context, which means that filters are preserved during the analysis and users can freely navigate between different views. If the user is more experienced, they can always switch the search bar into advanced mode and start to write their own queries. The power and flexibility of the NQL language can be utilized here to the full extent.